what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash and go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you are new i'd love to welcome you in the comments i love all my supporters you guys are a one top tier amazing people and i appreciate every last one of you so this video is kind of special to me because i actually made the first version of this video last year i believe the date was like april 6th I'm a little late now it's april 9th i was supposed to make it on like the anniversary of the video but i did screenshot it and yeah the video went up on april 6 2020 um it was a time when i was like not into youtube as much anymore i just had taken a really long break about a six month break from youtube and during the whole like quarantine thing you know the quarantine things um i started getting really into body care and hygiene where I would like research like scents that were retired, scents that were like rare and I'd try to find them and I was just like finding some sort of happiness and joy and like collecting more products than I already had. And I just decided that one day that I would just make a video about some of the Bath and Body Works body lotions that I liked and I didn't think anything of it. And when I posted it, you know, it was doing well and I was kind of shocked because I, my content was not anything similar to what it is now like it was kind of all over the place it was more like a vlog channel and um yeah and i realized like you know what i have a passion for this and i that was like the first or the second video that i ever made that kind of birthed my channel into what it is today so i decided i would do an updated version of my top 10 and i think i have 11 actually uh, of my favorite bath and body works body lotions that are out here and um yeah a lot has changed since then so yeah it's very exciting but before i even get into it i'm gonna show you guys a little clip of the video i made almost a year ago well over a year ago now um that is near and dear to my heart guys welcome to another video today's video i'm going to be showing you my top 10 favorite fragrances from bath and body works all of what i'm going to be showing you today is going to be the lotion that i have i'm not going to show any body creams fine fragrance mist because i feel like that could be for another video i find these videos super interesting so i hope that you guys can probably see maybe some sense that you're like hmm, like that's different and um yeah so let's get into it all right, so in no particular order, I'm gonna start with the first one. The first one that I have right here is Twilight Woods. I just recently got into Twilight Woods for some reason. Oh my gosh, it is crazy to see like how much things change in a year, like how much my personality has changed. Like I'm so much more comfortable in front of the camera now than I was back then because before I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't have that many subscribers. I only had about, 800 subscribers when i posted that video so to be now at like 28,000 subscribers really shows the growth of my channel and the growth of who i am as a young woman and it is incredible and i think that's another upside of doing youtube where you get to see you know how much you've changed and your accomplishments and you know just just watching yourself grow and that's just incredible so yeah let's get into these body lotions because baby i have a few that i did not mention in that video and i have a few that i mentioned that i didn't put in this one because i definitely feel like things change and you know i have some new loves in my life in no particular order i'm gonna be just showing you guys the scents that i love <sighs> you guys this first one is twinkling nights this is a retired fragrance it actually did come back for a semi-annual sale this year twinkling nights is one of the fragrances from bath and body works that actually surprised me so much the notes on this are frosted jasmine petals whipped vanilla and mandarin blossom i love this i've actually talked about this several times on my channel i have a supporter who actually sent me so many of the fine fragrance mists for this scent because it's impossible to find. Twinkly Nights gives me perfume vibes. Twinkly Nights gives me like, you can literally put this in a perfume bottle and wear this out. This could be daytime, this could be nighttime. It's just a very luxurious, I get that from this. It also comes out through during like the holiday seasons, but I think Twinkly Nights just hits it on the bar for me. Like honestly, if I could have this in other forms, like a body wash, I do believe, I think I have the body wash, but I don't have, you know, a scrub or like an actual perfume. If they came out with this in a perfume, it would sell out. It's amazing. And this is definitely something that I recommend 
and it's one of my favorites i think bath and body works needs to put this baby out this needs to be permanent in my opinion next up because these it's actually funny because these were not in my other video this is confetti cake pop confetti cake pop is a scent that i actually never thought i would have when it first came out i was like no like i really didn't like it and i'm never ashamed to tell you guys what i like and what i don't like and what i like now that i didn't like before i could not get what you guys were getting and i'm talking about you guys as in the people who are fans of this scent i couldn't get into it i was like where are you getting the confetti cakey vibe i was not i was like i don't get it and i said this once before like my like scent notes <laughs> my nose was like it, it, it unlocked the scent for some reason i don't know how but now i get it it's almost like the perfect cake pop type of scent it's not an overdone sweet scent it's very nice and creamy and it, it's just perfect i get it now and once i got it i got the ultra shade body cream i got the body lotion i now have the fragrance mist which was gifted to me which i'm grateful um so this is confetti cake pop this is the packaging on this definitely a bath and body works favorite it's a top scent for me that they've ever come out with the fragrance notes are creamy cake frosting rainbow sprinkles and vanilla bean cue the confetti this sweet treat makes every moment pop with magic i'm obsessed i like this it was the bake shop collection or something like that with bath and body works they also had a scent called margarita cupcake and somebody told me the other one right now because my brain is just not remembering what else came out with this why why oh my goodness that's crazy oh strawberry pound cake also came out with this too so yeah <laughs> i actually really like this but let me know if it was another scent i'm tripping this is so 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 good and i really feel like i need to use it asap because i haven't even used this one i've used my body cream and i use my fragrance with a lot i tend to use my fragrances a lot more than like my lotion sometimes because you can just spray your fragrance mist all over your body and just be cool but then i've noticed like i'm trying to salvage my fragrance mist now because i have another scent that i'm going to show you right now this is white t-shirt now don't get mad at me because <laughs> i know this is really 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 hard to find and i think the reason why i keep talking about it because i'm hoping bath and body works if you're seeing this i know y'all see me i'm doing this for my supporters the people who love watching my channel the people who love your products bath and body works this scent right here is five stars out of this world amazing honestly it's white t-shirt white t-shirt is the freshest most clean smelling body lotion from bath and body works this is a top scent from their whole line that they came out with with all the like cleaner scents it's incredible that whole line and i I wish it didn't fail the test or whatever it was because I know so many people would cherish this. I have my mom who, you know, is here and I gave her one of the body lotions and I'm seeing her use it and I'm like, baby, you need to slow down on the usage, okay? Because when you're done, it's going to be real, 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 real hard to get another one and I don't want you to cry. <laughs> That's how I tell y'all all the time, be careful now with what you use because i know that this i'm gonna pray that this comes back because it's one of my favorites the notes are crisp pear and i've noticed i really like pear in a body lotion let me show you guys up close i think pear is really really amazing when it comes to freshness and that nice clean scent so it does have crisp pear white t-shirt fresh white t-shirt lavender cloud lavender is always always amazing clean musk and soft sandalwood this was very well done i got this for semi-annual sale and if you're not aware of what semi-annual sale is it happens twice a year at bath and body works you can get up to 75 percent of items it's crazy like it's amazing and it's coming up very very soon june will be around the corner like we're literally almost in may sas is coming you know the videos are about to be crazy this is definitely a top scent for me i have about four bottles for myself what i was talking about with the fine fragrance mist i have the fine fragrance mist which i am forever grateful that i do youtube because again another one of my supporters actually sent it to me it is 
nowhere to be found i am so grateful for it and i use it and i love it but i try not to use it as often because i can tell when i like something because you can see that little thing going down and you're like dang like ooh, i'm using a little too much like i didn't even tell you guys my scent of the day actually i'm wearing my laura mercier perfume and i don't know if i put my i think i put my body lotion up there i always do that but i'm wearing laura mercier i'm wearing the body souffle and this perfume that they have this is very strong so many compliments Laura Mercier, if you don't have your hands on it, absolutely incredible. You can find them at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but this, this, I'm not gonna lie, this is not a Marshalls and TJ Maxx exclusive. This is like, you can get this at like Saks Fifth Ave, you can get this at Bloomingdale's. Um, where do, there's another store that you could get this at, but it's expensive. This one thing runs for like $65, kind of expensive. So yeah, this is the Ombre Vanilla scent, very, very good. And yeah, what I was trying to say is I've used quite a bit, but I have a backup, so I'm okay for now, okay? So white t-shirt definitely goes down in history right now, you guys. This is historic. Historic. <laughs> Next up, I have to say, I guess since we're on the freshness bandwagon, here is Sea Island Cotton. This is a baby. This has been out for years. This reminds me of growing up, going to middle school, high school. You know, I always had like the pocket bag. I always had a fragrance mist. Like Sea Island Cotton was something like... I think my mom just gave it to me. I wasn't even into body care like that. And so I just had it, but I knew that I liked it because every time I wore it, I was like, ooh, this is very fresh. It's very clean. It's very me. That's how I feel. So I have Sea Island Cotton, which I am seeing now that it's renamed as Sea Island Shore. Am I sure that I like that name? No, I don't think it's cool. I don't, I don't really care for it. And I believe they took out a certain note out of that. But this is what Sea Island Cotton looks like right now. This is it. I try to pick up a lot during, you know, summer annual sale because it was going out. You know when you see like a lot of a certain scent, you know it's probably retiring. And this used to be like on the walls at Bath and Body Works. It was always there. You can always get it. And now that it's gone, it really makes me appreciate it so much more. I have it in a lot of different forms. And CL and Cotton was also in last year's video. And I think Forever will be one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. So to see that it's gone now, I'm like, you know what? You had a good run. But it's coming back. It's actually coming back, you guys. As Sea Island Shore, it's just not that cotton. But I think the cotton really made it what it is. So for you to take out the cotton, Sea Island Cotton, kind of makes me a little sad. The notes on Sea Island Cotton, uh, it's crisp white cotton. That crisp scent note is everything. Clean linen, yes. Fresh orange blossom, blue freesia, and ocean musk. So if you like clean, fresh smelling laundry type of scents, C. Allen Cotton is your girl or your boy, whichever one you prefer. <laughs> like, I don't know. This one actually is historic for me. Going back to even days of like C. Allen Cotton, it's crazy how like I can tell a story with my Bath and Body Breaks, but we won't do that because I don't want the video to be too long, okay? This is Warm Vanilla Sugar. This one in particular, is a newer version of it it isn't the same in terms of lasting power this lasts all of two seconds and i say that because i have other versions of warm vanilla sugar which came out years prior and this will stay on me for a long time that's the reason i love warm vanilla sugar it's warm it's a sweet nice vanilla it's beautiful it's just a beautiful scent and it just brings me back to school. And again, I started off with Bath and Body Works really using their pocket bags, um, especially when they were in like that triangular form. I wish I had them in here, you guys. Oh, I think I took them out. But yeah, that's when they were like that triangle type shape. So Warm Vanilla Sugar, this one in particular, I believe this is the one that's in stores now, but I could be wrong. Um, it's really good. Smelling it, you know, in here, really good when i put this one on my body not the best if you can find you know an older packaging you know from years prior of warm vanilla sugar i would the formula definitely did change on this a bit but warm vanilla sugar will always have my heart and i'll continue to purchase warm vanilla sugar and i'm hoping they can kind of like bring back that longevity that this used to have but again the scent is still the same and it smells really pretty and it's amazing the notes are intoxicating vanilla white orchid sparkling sugar fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood 
and um this will forever be near and dear to my heart this baby right here and i'm excited to say it it's like i'm making a huge announcement but this became my favorite during the year of 20 20 i believe <laughs> and i was like dying to get it i was calling up the store like hey y'all released that scent yet they were like no i'm like do y'all have this scent they're like no it was in the back but i understand and i really wanted it but this was the one thing i couldn't get early and this is you're the one if i would have made that video last year knowing this would come out this would have been number one on my list i am hoping more than anything that bath and body works can try to bring out more scents similar to this this is what you would call a heavy hitter this is literally going to be beyonce this is rihanna this is like boss vibes this is the queen this is everything okay this is like i got my money and what are you gonna tell me like i am a boss and that's this okay this is you're the one you're the one from Bath and Body Works. The packaging is incredible. I know when I like a fragrance because it starts to look a mess. Like I have brought this like everywhere with me. The back is like peeling off. I don't know if you guys could tell. It's just, it's going through the ringer right now, but I don't care because I love it so much. You're the one has scent notes of white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. I really love that. And it says you're confident, sparkling, beautiful, you're the one this could have been a valentine's day scent but it wasn't and i actually like that because i feel like it just had its own shine this is in so many forms it's in a candle form a hand soap and i have everything but the candle so i need to get my hands on a candle if you can get your hands on you're the one i believe it's currently in stores now so you can get it in a shower gel a body wash anything this is incredible it is long lasting if you want a perfume like body lotion or a fragrance mist highly recommend you're the one this has literally blown me away and it's blown many people away um a lot of people were surprised that this has such a strong power to it the longevity is amazing on my body chemistry it is just it blends so well it makes me feel the best you know when you look for like a fragrance that you want to feel your best and most confident i always look for you're the one i've used so much of it and for me like i don't go through my lotion that fast like a lot of people are like how do you finish your stuff i don't force myself to finish anything i like to use my stuff at my own you know pace and that's why i do have a big empties video coming but again i don't try to finish things for an empties video i like to just use my things how i want to use it and if i feel the need to sell it or if i feel the need to give it away i'll do that on my own time and i'm really excited to have you're the one and to not finish it <laughs> i have it in the body cream but i don't have another body lotion in this scent i did give it to my mom but i love it and i highly highly recommend this scent like if I can recommend anything to you guys, please try. You're the one. Next, this one is actually something that, you know, I look through and I say, you know what? This is worth the mention. This is fresh sea salt mango. I don't see a lot of people talk about this anymore, and they should. This one lasts so long. I actually put it on not even intending to, like, you know, have something that lasts long that day. I just had put it on, and I realized... I was smelling good and I was smelling good and I was smelling good. I'm like, oh, yes, I smell great. And this is exactly why. This is fresh sea salt mango with Tahitian Manoi oil. It is, okay, hold on. Created by our master perfumes, this fragrance was inspired by sitting on the beach enjoying a refreshing mango cocktail. Can someone take me to the beach so I can relax? I need a relaxation. Have you guys ever felt like that? Like, I feel like, you know, you have so many things to be happy about, but I don't have that, like, peace of mind that I want to just sit down and just be relaxed. Like, no worries, no social media, nobody bothering me, no work, just peace of mind. And I feel like, I need that right now and this is exactly the accurate depiction of that um, It has fragrance notes of fresh mango sea salt breeze sun-kissed clementine watery musk and orange blossom This is incredible another thing. I need to find fragrance mist in I haven't seen them, you know Bring it back But it's one of a kind it really is it's very fruity. It does have that nice sea salt. It's a very good blend of sea salt and mango. It's like it's not overly sweet. Like, you know, the body shop has a mango scent, which I think is super duper sweet. This one is just perfect. I don't know. There's no perfection in life, but I find I find perfection in my body lotions. Okay. 
period so <laughs> i really like this one and again look at the bottle look how it is like this is like the like rectangular shape now i don't really see these as often anymore it was kind of like a thing with bath and body works where they started doing that but you can always see the the cool things like look at this top right here versus you know this top and the colors are different you got the silver it's really amazing how you know collecting you can see you know through the years how things change and develop and that's what life is about changing and developing and just recognizing the beauty in what once was and what currently is you know this is one of my favorites i'm not sure if i mentioned it in the video um last time and i just got a text oh anyways <laughs> this is rain kissed leaves when i tell you not enough people talk about this this was something i picked up on a whim had no idea that i would like it it was during like a semi-annual sale where i felt like you know i was just picking stuff up again i only recently became so i think that quarantine thing really got me into wanting body care as much as i do now so i had no idea that i liked this so much so during like that whole quarantine thing i actually realized you know I like this scent. I'm about to run out. So what do I do? That's when I discovered Mercari and the beauty of it and how you can get fragrances that are retired. I had I used to think, you know, if you bought it from another place, it wasn't real or something like that. But boy, was I wrong. And I'm so grateful for all the sellers on Mercari, you know, the people who, you know, give us the opportunity to get things that we no longer can get at Bath and Body Works or in store. So I'm grateful. And this is actually a Mercari purchase. And this has lush green leaves, crisp watercress, and delicate petals. Rain Kissed Leaves is another really fresh scent. But it also does give me a nice, it's like a fresh rainfall vibe. And this isn't laundry day. This is more like outdoors. It rains. It has that rain smell. But it's really, really good. And I actually see this in hotels. Um, I have minis. And I'm so mad like when I don't bring stuff in here. But I have like minis from a hotel that I stayed at. And I was able to get rain kiss leaves. So that was super cool. And rain kiss leaves is definitely one of my favorites. The top scents from Bath & Body Works in my opinion. I love that everyone can have like their own opinion on what they like and what they don't like so ranky sleeve definitely went down with that this one was definitely mentioned in the video from last year and it still stands today this is peony from bath and body works one the packaging is gorgeous peony is absolutely incredible it smells beautiful it's a floral that you can't go wrong with this is peony petals garden rose and sandalwood it it does give me that rose vibe but it's a pretty rose it's peonies it's just really really pretty you guys i don't know about perfect peony because that is another scent from bath and body works but this is just it wins and again this is something one of my friends got for me from amazon because i was out of the one that i got from semi annual sale one year and if you see the lighting change my camera battery is about to die but peony is amazing i haven't even used this one yet because i'm still working on the other one that i'm about to finish but if you can get your hands on this i believe they have it on amazon i tried to get the fragrance mist on mercari because it is gorgeous but i have to say in terms of top scents from bath and body works peony definitely wins and it it's down in history as incredible we're winding down you guys and this was also a fragrance mentioned last year but i have to bring it up again this is the lovely, the famous agave papaya sunset. It has notes of sugared agave, golden papaya, dolce de leche, coconut sands, and exotic musk. When I tell you I fell in love with this, again, another pickup during some my annual sale that I had no idea that I would love. It's sweet, and I love it. It's such a beautiful, sweet body lotion. And I love when I find something that's just perfect for me. I have lotions. You know, some of them I like more than others. But this is one of the ones that I love. And if you can get your hands on this, maybe for a semi-annual sale in the summer. Maybe in the fall, like winter. Um, definitely do. Agave Papaya Sunset. Incredible. And you can hear my opinions on it from last year versus this year. Um, if you watch my other videos. So definitely pick up Agave Papaya Sunset. And my light just turned off. But yeah, this is it and it's beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. It's just a very, very pretty fragrance all around. And last, but definitely, definitely not least, this is Be Enchanted. This was a fragrance I tried 
so hard to get. I was blessed enough to find out that this was actually a retired fragrance on Bath & Body Works website. If you are located near an outlet store, they do have these. I believe they're sold year round, so you can definitely get your hands on this. Be Enchanted is beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. A lot of people love this. It is something that's been around for a very long time. It has notes of, let me find it, let me find it. This enchanting scent is a sparkling blend of iced pomegranate, sugared petals, and chilled passion fruit frosted with notes of whipped vanilla and light musk. Vanilla in any fragrance is going to be my favorite. It's just a thing for me. And it's, oh my gosh, I can't even lie to you guys. It is, it is incredible. And it smells very citrusy. I would get that citrusy note, but that pomegranate is always what I'm meaning to say. It is gorgeous. It's sweet. It's pretty. It gives me exotic. Um, I really like it and I really want to keep this in my collection. I have it in the fragrance mist. I have it in the body cream. And again, I have it in the body lotion. I've used quite a bit of it, but again, I'm not trying to finish it. <laughs> I really like it. And I definitely feel like when I'm wearing it, it lasts on me a long time and it smells super sweet throughout the day. I can't get over the packaging. It's very beautiful. I think the colors are just perfect and they blend together so well it's this like it's a you know font for me like the way it's like it gives me cinderella vibes like it gives me disney that's why i really like this one and it's definitely one of my favorites it's in the top 10 the top 11 i guess today and that is it you guys and of course i have so many scents from bath and body works that i feel like are amazing and that are some of my favorites but i couldn't you know put them all in one video and i would definitely do like a part three of this i would say like a part three would probably be good and that would be exciting i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video it was really fun to film because it really takes me back again to seeing like my progress and just seeing how my you know taste can change in just a year you know and hopefully maybe five years from now i can make a video like this again or make it every year and see like what's different what's new and you know what's popping brand new whip just happened if y'all know this <laughs> i appreciate every single one of you who continuously leave supportive and kind comments on my channel it really means a lot to me you know i don't tolerate negativity you guys already know so i try not to acknowledge that but i really try to you know spread love to you guys and just tell you guys how much you mean to me because i believe that you should show people and give people their flowers while they're here right now because that's when it matters most and you know and i can't imagine what i would do if i didn't have this platform and you guys to talk to because back then when i made this video a year ago i wasn't talking to that many people <laughs> and i was on there and i was confident and i was doing my thing but i never ever would have thought that last year going to this time today i'd be where i'm at right now never would have thought in my wildest dreams and that has a lot to do with prayer has a lot to do with consistency and it has a lot to do with believing in myself and who i want it to be and i hope that you guys can see my channel as that progress and that if you want to do something do it be consistent pray about it and believe in yourself so thank you guys and i hope to see you in the very next video bye you guys